Le West. Le West. What's his name? Le West. Le West. Le West. <laughs> you got it? Uh, where was it? Fuck, sorry, guys. Oh. Lewis Hamilton's Instagram. Yeah, you gotta highlight that. Remember? <laughs> Starting off right. Starting off right. As we always do, week after week, you can always rely on us. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flat out fever podcast uh flat out fever. Yeah, we got a we got a we got a youtube url now we do like a like a custom one flat oh uh youtube.com slash c slash c slash flat out fever podcast podcast a lot of flat out fever podcast. Get that right you don't need really that slash c in there but it looks way cooler when you put it yeah, 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 yeah. it sticks Obviously, I'm being very sarcastic. You already passed it. Scroll up. You already passed it. And back down. Slow down. More down, 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 down. Come on. There we go. Oh, there you go. In the middle. One and two. That's it. <laughs> Part one. Play it. Done. <laughs> and how much do you think he made? Believe me, I think he made like six million. No, six billion. And his name is what? Sorry? Lewis. Lewis. And how much do you think he made? Believe me, I think you make like six million. No, six billion. Go back. There's a part two. There's part two. <laughs> part two. Nobody is perfect. You know how to do it. Do it. You know it's perfect. <laughs> so he's the best driver. He's the best driver. You know. Nobody is perfect. You know how to so, do uh, it. Hit, check out if you want to see the video. Check out Lewis's <laughs> Instagram. He's basically he's messing with this Uber driver. Wherever he. Well, is. I don't. I don't think he intentionally. Well, I don't did think it. he's messing with him, but <laughs> he's not gonna be like, "Yeah, hey, I'm Lewis." And then the guy's gonna freak do you out. Th- do, you, do you think that he like he like showed him his idea after like, "Hey, I'm Lewis. Don't <laughs> worry about it." <laughs> yeah, he probably did. He would have made. Of course. Why not? Why not make the guy's day? Shake yeah. his hand. Exactly. <laughs> thank sweet. him for the ride. <laughs> uh, I'm not Lewis Hamilton. I always say thanks for the ride, and <laughs> <laughs> I usually say, "Hey, I'm Danny." When I get in, right? Well, they, they <laughs> want, the one because if not, like they're kind of obsessive about it. They're like, "Are you Javier? Are you Javier? You have to be Javier to get into the Uber." <laughs> <laughs> I never got that. Yeah. <laughs> I have. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're like more like spooked about it down on King Street. I guess so. <laughs> Anyways, today's the second day of wet weather testing. All right. Ooh. What happened? Ooh. Uh, well, let's talk about the first day. First, I guess. Yeah, that that some of those pictures from Pirelli's wet weather testing looked like Bernie Ecclestone's wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, but, that's what he wants, man. He wants to, st- to install sprinklers on the side of the tracks. <laughs> it was an idea that was floated for sure. <laughs> pull, pull up that. Uh, the, uh, the gallery there. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Yeah. I think it's on the very top of the page, the very top of the links. Highlighted. There you go. It's highlighted right there. Right there. Yeah, it's highlighted. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, basically, they used uh, 35 sprinklers, actually, to be exact, connected by 315 pipes to wet the track. Uh, yesterday, I think they tested more of the full wet tires. They super wet the track. And uh, today they were testing drying conditions, so they kept it half wet. I think with the intermediates or the uh, the X wets, as as uh, we saw, you know, the X wet. Yeah. Possibly a new it's brand of Sintiratos. That that's supposed to be in the middle. In of the what, middle, what right? Is now the uh, wet and intermediate. The intermediate, types. yeah. Right. Yeah. Cinturato. Is it? Yeah. Between the two wets or between the wet and the, the intermediate and the dry? Between the two wets. Between the two wets. Yeah. Right. Okay. So to, to, Just to allow for more, clarify. a little bit more strategy. But what is the, the, um, the thing about it before is that like the wets were, were too soft to use a lot of the times. Like, and they hardly ever use them. And the inters didn't afford them that flexibility uh, to be able to like do like a quick enough lap as the track is drying out right they would last like three laps in in certain tracks right yeah 
Uh, so that's that, that, that that's what Pirelli is aiming to do. But, uh, but um, now bear in mind that these are old cars, or like they're supposed to be old cars. Yeah, last year's cars. <laughs> right. Um, but you can still see now, like there, there's been some livery changes. Um, yeah, like there's there's a top red Red there. Bulls. Go, go, if you go to the very first picture at the top of the red, oh, maybe, yeah, either that one or the middle one there, you can see all the it's purple darker. is gone. Yeah, it's darker. It's it's the Red Bull colors. There's no more. The purple was uh, for Infinity. the Infinity oh, Infinity really? brand bef- before. Yeah, Nissan Infinity that was their sponsor until this nice. year and didn't renew. You see the very small tag Heuer at the very see on the on the right side at the on back the of the car. Cover. Yeah, yeah, right on the engine cover. It's very small. It's not what I was expecting. Mm. But obviously, this isn't this year's car either. No, right, this right. Is, but uh, the you, 2015 car. You can get some clues as to what the liveries of these cars are going to be. If you go for a little bit at down, least, yeah. You see the uh, the Mac Honda is still very much the same, and <laughs> somehow you could go down one more. Uh, they've chosen to hide the Chandon uh, logo there, but I mean, all you got to do is pull up the uh, that is their logo, the logo, and like you can see that. That's that little star thing there. Star on the moon. That's yeah. That's clearly it's it's Shandon. It's not, there's no mystery there. So bef- before we move on, I have some info about that. Oh yeah. Do you, do you know the reason? Tell me. In France. Okay. As well as I, ha- I don't know I, f- I, f- I don't have the list actually now, but there's a handful of European countries where alcohol advertising is illegal oh. on, on television. Oh. So this sort of skirting the rules for them because. This was a private event attended only by media. There's no TV coverage. Uh, Motoring more is uh, is is contributing right now. Danny, take it. Where, where does he say? Uh, who attended the test? Oh, Motoring more. Somebody's uh, following us on YouTube. Hey, buddy. Uh, wow, might not stop the accidents like Japan. Are these 15 or 16 in? Uh, yeah, 19. These are 2015 cars. Yeah. The Red Bull has a tag on the engine. I guess I don't think they're allowed to use the Renault. At all in, in media. No, 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 no not for all. 2016. Right. Yeah. Uh, I would say not the finalized liveries. No, they're not. They're, they're definitely going to add more stickers to it. I mean, one would hope. Yeah. Red, Red Bull is going to have more sponsors than, than just, you know. Red Bull actually have the date. February 17th, they're set to reveal their livery. And February 22nd, they're set to reveal the full car now, at fer- the first day of testing. Ferrari was actually there, too, if you go if you go down. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, the Ferrari car looks exactly more or less exactly the same. Yeah, and yeah. You, you know that they're not going to do that. They always do, like, something else with the Ferrari. They change, like, the you know, this, these black lines or, the, you know, yeah, where they put the black and the, uh, the Italian colors here and there uh, so this is not going to be the finalized ferrari livery of course not no they want they but they want to make a big deal about it this year i don't know why um i think it was last year it was the first time that they actually had like a uh, a soft opening instead of like inviting a bunch of journalists from all over italy and making a big like deal about it and like you know serving like i don't know <laughs> some shandong or, or or you know the <laughs> <laughs> Hook, Sh- hooker, shots of shell gas hookers and blow uh <laughs> <laughs> instead of doing that they actually did a thing over the internet now they're doing that again this year but they're clearly want to get some like social media attention <laughs> maybe probably and uh, oh that hashtag red uh, whatever the ferrari's doing yeah yeah that's yeah. Uh, you know red, it's red, it requires red, a red. lot of participation yeah <laughs> um and as for well, the last question here who attended the test Ferrari, McLaren, and Red Bull attended. Um, Ferrari sent both race notice, drivers. Notice the absence of Mercedes. Yeah. They well, said they're, they're they were happy. For it. <laughs> <laughs> too good for it. Lewis Hamilton is off hugging tigers and making a rap album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot no, of no, pictures no of tigers on his Instagram. <laughs> no, no, time, no time for that. <laughs> Toto Wolf said he was, he was convinced that uh, these teams would be uh, prevented from making any gains, and uh, he's happy to let them test for them. Okay, have you okay, go 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 back to like where where it shows the actual sprinklers on the track? I think. Yeah, I was okay. looking for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there. There, 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 there. That looks like a lot more than thirty-five, there. unless they weren't look. using the whole track. Look, let's look, but, but look at that. Uh, who yeah. the next one? Um, these sprinklers are like your you know regular garden variety sprinklers from by the look of yeah. them. You know no, what I mean? It seems like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would happen if some you know? You know, somebody of the ilk of Maldonado, like, <laughs> <laughs> crashes and takes one of these out. Um, 
like just like just runs over it. I think those you, know, are- you know if if this actually ever ca- this is what I'm saying if, if this actually be- ever became part of like regular everyday Formula One, <laughs> like we have should. sprinklers on, on the track. <laughs> um, they say somebody crashes into them, right, and then just just blows it up. These things just shoot water straight up, don't they? Like, oh if, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If, you, if you do that, like if, if it doesn't have this up. head, it would just be like water straight up. Right? Can you, imagine, a sprinkler race can you imagine how messy that would get? That could that could actually be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> if there's just like a fire hydrant type scene like of just like water spewing everywhere. <laughs> that thing I was wondering that would be nice. So obviously they don't put heated water, heated sprinklers, you know. Not uncomfortable. Heated spr- oh, for the drivers. <laughs> for the drivers, yeah. For their comfort, obviously. Yeah. Be funny if they added fucking fire the next one. <laughs> Let's go back to that Shandon logo though, because uh, we we got Outside track for a second there. In France, it's illegal to advertise alcohol on TV. Yeah. And uh, let me highlight something for you on the... Oh, man. I'm sorry. Here, Right here. Alcohol and tobacco advertising. I got a link on our links page here towards the middle. This is something that Ferrari actually got away with for a long time. Yeah, this is the photo. See if you can spot it. So instead of saying Chandon... Like they like they normally do on the side of the uh, McLaren, they put the logo. Where they do here? Mm-hmm. Do you see it? Yeah. Wait, is it this? It is, and the side, the barcode. Yeah. If anyone, if anyone that remembers that's not watching Ferrari for a while, yeah. After cigarette advertising was banned through <laughs> giant barcodes on their cars, and they they were all different versions. There was a taller version, a longer version. That is the barcode for Marlboro cigarettes. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah. It's it's supposed to represent yeah Marlboro for sure yeah. That's their barcode. Huh? If you scan that, you go boop, eleven ninety seven or whatever it costs, for <laughs> like, whatever the cigarettes cost. Yeah, but so it's basically the same trick. Well, well, unless you knew that. Yeah, well I don't well, know. People, well, like, people, what would be the point. Well, okay, no, it's, uh, it it's might even also be, they 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 actually like did um, a marketing research, especially uh, analysis the internet, on it. Go, What's that barcode? No, and the thing is that um, at high speeds, at the speeds of F1 cars usually move, mm-hmm. it it creates the illusion of like it's saying Marlboro. Fuck off. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. I try to shake, shake my head really fast. Not 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 a lot, but it's like kind of like the same. It's, let's say you're okay. Remember um, when we were in Montreal, and like the first thing that you see when you go into uh, Circus Gilles Villeneuve. Is like the cars going down that that uh, the back straight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And how it's more of a blur? Yeah. Essentially, like the blur of this would be very very similar to the blur of Marlboro. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why I wanted a cigarette so yeah. badly. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It, it, like, yeah. I was like, guys, this god is so it. exciting. It pulls out a smoke. <laughs> oh man, that's intense. <laughs> So uh, for, uh, for for Ferrari yesterday, Stoffel van Dorn for the full wet day. The first day was a full wet day. Stoffel van Dorn drove for McLaren. Um, Ricciardo drove for Red Bull, and Kimi Raikkonen drove for Ferrari. Red Bull was the fastest. Today, Kvyat was. I don't know who was actually driving for McLaren today. Kvyat was driving for Red Bull. Do you know? Yeah. What are you typing so much? Just uh, replying to motoring more. Don't worry. <laughs> and. Uh, Vettel was the fastest today, obviously. Deutschland. Deutschland. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that's pretty much it for the testing. If you actually go to our Twitter page, I posted yesterday for it. They didn't use exactly use sprinklers, but two years ago, January 29th, 2014, there was an artificial wet weather test at Jerez. Might have forgotten. Jerez. <laughs> Yeah, if you have forgotten, I posted a picture there on our Twitter, if you want to pull that up. But they basically used a, f- a few, uh, like, farming tractors pulling tank or tanks of water. And, uh... Yeah, I wonder... I w- okay, listen, I want to see the, the pictures track. of the potential parts that they were trying. C- clearly, there haven't been too many pictures of of that kind of stuff. Like, I've, I've looked around. Like, there's nothing too obvious, obviously, arrow that they've changed. So, my guess is that if these teams actually try to get away with testing something, um, they're probably testing, uh, testing engine bits. 
I guarantee you that. I think that the team showed up there with something under the hood, you know, that you couldn't see. This is, this is the last thing I really have to say about the testing, I guess, because um, there's not a whole lot of news that came out of there. But I had a discussion with somebody on Reddit yesterday about this. Uh, there was a thread, if anyone saw it. He asked the question, could anybody have done that? Yeah. So here's the thing. Ferrari, remember we talked about this at the end of the season last year, two or three races from the end, Renault used a few of their tokens to change a few parts that I think they ended up not racing because they said that it was actually detrimental to their performance. But we were speculating that most likely they were thinking ahead to 2016 and change some stuff that's going to help them this year. I think Ferrari did the same thing because remember <laughs> they homologated their final engine, their final four tokens yeah. in Abu Dhabi just before the race and then didn't race any of those parts. So if they saved those tokens until the end and then knew or assumed they were going to get 32 for this year, same as everyone else, yeah. they essentially give Ferrari 36 tokens <laughs> for this year and they would have tried to get away with that wouldn't they and Renault similar I believe I believe Renault did the same thing we talked about talked about a few months ago Renault changed something with their exhaust yeah and I was guessing that it had to do with the split uh configuration of the yeah uh, what's what's it called the, the, the over boost for the turbo yeah. and yeah I think Ferrari did something similar right at the end of the year they never ran that engine or any of those parts that they changed in testing practice or a race or qualifying but there's a chance they ran them today because they were homologated in 2015 yeah that's true but they might not have worked with this engine at all and i predict they just started working on their engine far earlier in the year well man assuming they had 36 tokens put four parts they definitely were going to change even even the, race them e and even my, my honda has come out now with uh <laughs> saying that they found 226 horsepower <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, I read like, that. Let's just find like a bunch of little horses. <laughs> 166 kilowatts. Where, where were they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> Jesus I think Christ. No, most of it was predicted to be in the cooling of their ERS system. Listen, 166 is, kilowatts. We talked about this last week. I had this drilled into my head in school. <laughs> Engineering fact, 746 watts, one horsepower. Oh, shit. So, uh, yeah, Honda gained 166 kilowatts, 223 horsepower. Okay, but if they did so, like, that's that's big, man. We're talking about, like, this could bring the Macron. If it's true, which, like, I don't know. Can you believe anything? Like, over this year, like, well, actually, over, over all of last year, every single thing, the Ron Dennis or uh, Yasuhika Arai or y Yasuhisha. Shisha. Or, Shisha. Yeah, Arai ever said we're <laughs> Fucking unsubstantiated lies, <laughs> as far as we could tell. Right? Just made a bunch of shit up. Yeah. <laughs> this didn't come directly out of Honda. But <laughs> they were down a deficit. They were expected a de deficit on the straits of something like uh, I don't. What was it? Se se somewhere seconds between 70, and two and a half seconds. seventy to one hundred and two and a half horsepower. seconds over an, over an hour, overlap. Horsepower wise, they're guess somewhere between seventy to one hundred fifteen. But that could that could close. We're talking about a, if if it's true, that could close the gap. That would overtake the gap, even right? The I don't know, no, no, I don't think so because uh, well, you'd be like, no, come on, you'd be I stupid think it, to think that the Mercedes hasn't been working on their engine as well at the same pace or more than they were before. They have too much invested in it and now that they know that it's gonna be a guaranteed thing, twenty eighteen to th through to twenty twenty. They have even more of an incentive to still keep dumping the same amount of cash. That shit, that 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 budget has already been written off. I can believe it. That they gained that because their deficit last their deficit last year was on the straights in the ERS system. They they did fairly well in Monaco and one or two other races where they scored points on the tracks where there weren't long straights that demand that electric power at the end, right? So I don't know. We'll, we'll see though. Yeah, we'll see. These are only the 2015 cars. I think uh, uh, you know what. It's 2016, and I, and I was just talking about this with uh, um, this guy from work that uh, um, he, he found out that I was uh, that I did this F1 podcast, and then we started talking about uh, F1 and like how it, like him, much like uh, a few other people out there, um, even though they really liked F1 at, the, uh, at some point, they kind of got tired. They like, fell they, off they, the wagon. There's people that already got tired of the Mercedes domination, but I was trying to explain to him like, listen, man. As much as it might still be next year, like this this year, 2016 might still be 
a Mercedes dominated year. All the elements are in place right now for it to still be a fantastic year. Mm. We have lots to look forward to. The Ferrari possibly making some gains. Yeah. Uh, Maconda, if this is true, um, getting it up there. Even if the even if Maconda is just fighting for like the top of the midfield, that's still pretty good. I th- I'd say that that's still pretty good. That, that's like that. that's that's not what another team expected. Red Bull went from zero to champion to a championship winning team in five years. So that's how long it took him. And they dumped like it was like a like they they like uh, uh, Dieter Marischitz like turn on the, the the money tap and it was just flowing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? These these teams have it. the resources to make it happen. And now that they've locked it down, they know it's gonna be um, a chase until 2020. I think the at least the ones with the biggest wallets are going to be uh, giving uh, Mercedes mm. a run for the money. For sure. I think so. I I think... Uh, we'll talk about this a bit later, but I think that the mm. manner... The new type of teams, the Manners and the Hazes, are going to maybe be giving McLaren a run for their money. Yeah. We got all yeah, of that. Let's, let's get into that. Though. All of that and more to look forward to. Anyway. Um, let's look forward to it. Yeah. This, it's, it's, it should be a good year. 2016. Should be one to one to remember. I 